welcome to my channel once again once again once again once again see this video that i'm coming to show you today is for me it's sad and as i always say i make some of these videos just to bring your attention to what is happening in africa bring your attention to what is happening in africa because we are lucky in ghana we have not experienced something like this but I remember some time ago, we experienced it. It did not really last for a very long time, but we have experienced it before, you know? And Nigeria is one country that I'm a bit surprised because when it comes to the oil, see, Nigeria has oil. Nigeria has oil that Nigeria should not and never shot fuel anywhere. Like, Nowhere in the country should struggle to get fuel. No car, no citizen. But I look at some of these videos or I see some of these videos and I'm like, why are African leaders like this? Why are our African leaders like this? See, one, one day, one day, something will happen in Africa and it will not be pleasant to a lot of people. But the question is, who caused it? Who caused it? Who caused all of this? I'm coming to show you a video of, see, let's go into this video, watch, come back and talk about it. This is the first scarcity condition of Nigeria, an oil producing country, oil producing country. You see the scarcity? Everybody queuing to get fuel. As for me, this is the second fuel station that we have been this morning, just to buy fuel. Second fuel station. And you can see from your eye, the queue is queuing. The queue is queuing and you can't do anything. Yes. That is what the government of Nigeria wants you to believe. You just have to queue and don't complain. If you complain, it's a queue. I can go back and back and back. See travelers stranded, everybody stranded, everybody tired, stress. People's father running to go and enter their car to go and queue for food that they are not even sure of. Yes, that is the state that Nigeria is right now a state of confusion where everybody has to queue to get food. Everywhere is shook, everywhere is shook, everywhere is shook. We are in Nigeria. You see this queue. This queue is to buy fuel. Okay. It's to buy fuel. In Nigeria, this is Abuja, Nigeria. The queue you are seeing right now is to buy fuel. Fuel in a filling station. It's to buy fuel. In an, oil producing. in an oil producing country. This is how we queue to buy fuel. If I say it as a Nigerian living in Ghana, they say me, I'm too talking. This is a queue to buy fuel in an oil producing country, Nigeria. Is this fair? You see where I video from? See where I video from? You didn't even start from the video. I didn't even start early self. I never start the video quick. I start and late. See, see, see. This is a fuel station. Look at how chaotic it is just to buy fuel in an oil producing country. Oh, yeah. Okay. I will not say more than this. So just look at a country like Nigeria, shortage of fuel and look at the number of cars and this is not even Lagos. You know Lagos, they have numbers, they have a lot of people, like over 20 million people. But this is Abuja, the capital, the well-organized capital, like this is a place that was planned really well. Even look at them. So I was asking myself, if this is Abuja and this is how they are suffering to even get fuel, then what about Lagos? What about Lagos? Because I'm surprised. See, African leaders, eh, we should hold them accountable. But sometimes eh, I don't blame anybody. I blame ourselves. To be honest, sometimes I don't blame anybody but ourselves because how do we vote? This is the question I want to ask. How do we vote as Africans? We vote based on our tribes. And this is one of the biggest problems. So if an African is suffering, that African is not innocent like that. Like that African caused whatever suffering that they are suffering. 
or brought that suffering unto, unto themselves. Because we vote according to our tribes. He's from my tribe. He's an Igbo. He's an Ashanti. He's Yoruba. He's Fanti. He's Ewe. And there are certain people that you can never, ever change their mindset. So far as they say they are going to vote for this person or this party, forget. You are not going into in, inside this booth with them. They are going to make that decision on their own in that booth. So that person is going to vote. When have you, in Ghana, let me use Ghana as an example. When have you heard that the NDC has won in Ashanti region before? And when have you heard that the NPP has won in the voter region before? When? When? Give me one one. A particular election year that you heard that has happened in Ghana before and the same thing applies to Nigeria when it comes to the Igbos the Eurobears and the Hausa people same thing and it is the same thing for every African country for every African country and this is very sad this is one of the things that we we have been doing and we have been doing and See, it's affecting us, but we are not seeing. Yes, we have a few floating voters that if this government doesn't perform, they'll vote for this one. But how many are they? I'm sure even in Ghana, for instance, they are not even up to one million. They are not even up to one million. Or they are not even up to two million. These floating voters. But there are certain people that no matter what you do, they will vote for a particular party. Either NBC, MPP, uh, PDP, APC. That is it nothing will change their mind you 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 cannot do anything to change their mind and if we are suffering like this we should keep on suffering because we caused all of this it is us it is nobody we caused it and we should suffer it thank you so much for watching this is the first scarcity condition of nigeria an oil producing country oil producing country you see the scarcity Everybody queuing to get fuel. As for me, this is the second fuel station that we have been this morning just to buy fuel. Second fuel station. And you can see from your eye, the queue is queuing. The queue is queuing and you can't do anything. Yes. That is what the government of Nigeria wants you to believe. You just have to queue and don't complain. If you complain, see, is a cure. I can go back and back and back. You see travelers stranded. Everybody stranded. Everybody tired. Stress. People's father running to go and enter their car. 